Hello, today I'm looking at Majima car number 134 and that's called the Lomasa Kangia Badra Bada Karata Sutta and that's translated as Lomasa Kangia and a single excellent night. Now the location is Savati in Jetta's Grove at Anatapindaka's Park but it actually opens the Sutta in the Sakyan country at Kapalavatu in Nigaradas Park. And the people mentioned are Loma Sakan Kia, uh, who's a monk, and Kandana, who's a young deity, and Buddha, or the Vener. Um, the Blessed One. And um, <clears throat> the Sutta starts by stating Buddha was living in Jetta's Grove, um, but, but as I say, the action starts at Kapalavatu, where the Venerable Loma Saka Ginya was staying. And he was approached by a young deity called Kandana. Now, Kandana asks the Venerable Loma Sakangya whether he remembers the summary, exposition and verses of one who has had an excellent single night. Now, Venerable Lama Sakangiya says he does not remember, but on being asked in uh, reply, the deity says he remembers the verse as recited by Buddha, when Buddha was living among the gods of the heavens of the 33 on the red marble stone at the root of the Parachataka tree. So I'll, I'll just read the verse out as it's recited by the deity. <clears throat> Let not a person revive the past or on the future build his hopes. For the past has been left behind and the future has not been reached. Instead, with insight, let him see each presently arisen state. Let him know that, and be sure of it, invincibly, unshakably. Today the effort must be made. Tomorrow death may come, who knows? No bargain with mortality can keep him and his hordes away. But one who dwells thus ardently, relentlessly, by day, by night, it is he, the peaceful sage, has said, who has had an excellent night. So that's the verse that the deity relates. <clears throat> but as I say, neither of them can remember the um, summary and exposition. So Kandana, Kandana uh, advises the monk to learn and master the summary and exposition of the one who has had an excellent single night. For it is beneficial, it belongs to the fundamentals of the holy life. So the Venerable Loma Sakangya proceeds by stages to Jetta's Grove where Buddha is living. And after exchanging courtesies with Buddha, he asks Buddha to teach him the summary and exposition of one who has had an excellent single night, which Buddha does. And it's as per Sutta 131, summarized as, do not delight in the past, do not delight in the future. And <clears throat> to avoid dwelling in the past, do not delight in it. And um, I think when I went on a meditation retreat, I remember I think on the third day, I had a really lovely time remembering back to a holiday in France, which is not the right thing to do. And do not dwell in the future by not delighting in it. And this reminds me of thinking of, hmm, now if I buy a lotto ticket and I won lotto, so I said, uh, so that's not right either. Do not delight in it. So, And of the present, Buddha explains, do not succumb to the five aggregates. 
Do not regard material form as self. Do not regard feeling as self. Do not regard perception as self, or mental formations as self, or consciousness as self. So this is what the Blessed One said, and the monks were delighted in the Blessed One's words. So that's the end of Majjhima Makai number 134. So as it's mentioned in the past few sotas, uh, it would appear to be quite an important teaching. And in fact, it really is food for thought about dwelling on the past, the present and uh, the future. Thanks for watching.